there in that part of the city we shall of course uh, be waiting on you a little bit later uh, for more updates on issues and real people on the ground but allow me now transition into our business update embracing digital payment solutions i have uh, two guests who will be helping us understand the dynamics and exactly where you should be looking at when it comes to this particular aspect but let me first go through what is uh, a preamble here the use of digital payment systems in uganda grew considerably both for mobile money service providers and banks for the year that ended june 2023 to add a voice to the growing trend in digital payment solutions a dfcu bank and pesa po can join a partnership to take the sphere of banking in that way to greater heights and i'm here with the farida nalubega the card and money transfer manager at dfcu bank i'm also joined by maureen Joroge, a country manager at pace paul digital payment solutions farida nalubega yes, the card and uh, money transfer management framework is huge stuff but I'm a layman. <laughs> Take me, <laughs> uh, bring me up to speed with some of the things. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so good morning, everybody. Um, we are humbled to be here this morning. You're welcome. Uh, so um, my name is Farida Nalwega, and I'm the manager for Card and Money Transfer at uh, DFCU Bank. So in in simple terms, mm. I really look after the payment business at DFCU. That okay. is the card business. You have yeah. the Visa cards, mm -hmm. and then you have the money transfers. Um, items like Western Union, uh, MoneyGram, World Remit. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, the payment business, really. Okay. Yes. Wow. Maureen Njoroge? Yes. Uh, thank you once again. Um, Maureen Njoroge, Namoma. I'm the country manager of Pesapal Uganda. And basically, with Pesapal, we are a regulated um, payment operator. Mm -hmm. We offer simple, secure, and uh, first uh, payment solutions uh, that helps um, individuals like you and me and businesses to transact send and receive payments digitally okay yeah and in a very fast way mm. people want their money quickly yes, they don't want indeed. to go into the you know what is no doubt very stressing uh, aspects all right the demand for digital payment for either uh, services in Uganda was mainly driven by apparently favorite policy environment evolving customer consumer behavior recovery in economic activity the emerging market trends enable excellence and partnerships are pretty much important we're not surprised that you two at uh, DFC Bank and Pesa Paul are going into this but bring us draw us the picture of uh, the trend where we've been how we are moving and whether we are actually on the right track but most importantly where we're going okay um, so I'll start with just briefly explaining what digital payments are. Mm. So digital payments is a, tr is a mode of transfer of value from one account to another using either digital service mm -hmm. or a digital channel. So digital services are items like, as I said, the cards. Mm -hmm. uh, you have a Visa card, you have a MasterCard, you, pro uh, you probably have um, another card, a VAF card that is issued out on the market. Mm -hmm. And then for the digital channels, you have items like the ATM, where you're able to go and draw cash without the need of anybody else to support you. You have a point of sale, for example, what uh, the PESAPAL team are providing for us here on the market, mm -hmm. where you're able to swipe your card or digital your card and be able to uh, pay for services then you have um, other i channels like the mobile app yeah. so um, we have seen that um, the digital payment uh, landscape has has grown tremendously in the last 10 years yeah. uh, but more so uh, we have seen that um, be escalated by the pandemic so when we went oh. into the pandemic we saw a lot wow. of um, restrictions in movements um, people think look uh, limitation of uh, direct contact with people so we've seen the onset and the growth of the digital payments come out out of that behavior mm. so customer behavior has drastically changed we are seeing the adoption rate really going up so well we are looking at trends that are in recorded in double digits mm. where you're seeing customers moving away from the offline offline um, the services are like uh, customer walking to a branch a nearby right. branch mm. we are seeing customers take on more of the digital channels so from the ugandan point of view we are seeing the adoption rate really go up but it's favored up by uh, things like the policies mm. you have for example the consumer protection act in uganda you have the national payment system act in uganda that is really trying to govern mm. the environment in uganda as we see customers move onto the digital platforms and we see also banks and uh, fintechs like pesapa mm -hmm. invest more in the digital channel 
services. Okay, yes. so operations uh, for banks and uh, uh, service providers like PESAPO can go on independently. Someone will be asking the question, where is the sweet point in this particular partnership? Okay, so I love answering that question <laughs> because we've been on this journey for yeah. quite some time. Yeah. Um, as DFCU, oh. we, 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 or any bank, you reach a point where you are not able to um, invest in certain services. You can do it, but it's not really a worthy venture right now. So what you do is you bring on partners like Pesapal to mm. come up with a strategic partnership which is going to be able to Those provide core abilities exactly are on the payment on and the, the payment cards and the online exactly. Okay. So what you're going to see is that you're coming together as two key players mm -hmm. coming in to solve a customer need because as I said post the pandemic we have seen really growth and a need in the in the small and business payment uh, customers mm. who want to offer services like uh, and, uh, collection of funds mm. for example you have a business you want someone to pay a customer comes to you and they say I have mobile money or I have a, a, a DFCU card That's right. I don't have cash mm. yet you want to actually uh, accept the services so we are seeing that come in consumers there is a need from the merchants that we are serving mm. but there's also a need from the normal retail customers that we are serving so we decided to come together bring other different heads together mm. they have the infrastructure we have the customer who mm. have a need okay. to ensure that the partnership is working oh, well very yes. well talk about infrastructure mm -hmm. yes. the networks and the ability to be able to put in place these systems that enable other sector players mm. well be able to roll out their own services in a more improved way what are the safeguards on your part okay um, on our side since we major on the payments both online and uh, on the point of sale mm. we've put measures uh, security measures such as uh, uh, PTS PTI DSS uh, certification mm. whereby we use the cyber security system mm. and apart from that we have um, most of the services you are the consumers will need to put a pin mm. and an authentication uh, uh, one time password mm. yes okay so particularly DFCU has what she says is uh, a plethora of uh, customers and consumers and uh, any other company would of course want to uh, come on board one would say why DFCU and not any other bank. <laughs> <laughs> Has it paid more? <laughs> <laughs> All right, but anyway, that one is a bit. Well, mm -hmm. it's okay. We it's can okay. we can touch on it. Mm. Um, I will say uh, DFCU has taken the need and the demand that is uh, in the market. Okay. There is uh, uh, a rise of demand uh, for the online payments and uh, the digital payments, and they've they've, they've seen the extra. Um, they've gone the extra from mile to ensure that their, co their customers, their SME uh, business customers mm. are able to get the solutions. They do not need to foster somewhere else to mm. uh, accept the card payments. Okay, in light of uh, the evolving trends in technology, many people are actually uh, being advised to do away with cash in any form whether you're paying for the most uh, basic of uh, items and this calls for uh, infrastructure that is actually up to speed yeah. with the needs. When it comes to your particular uh, line, I do not know exactly how best the trend is moving, but you could take us through what has been, what is, but most importantly, what will be tomorrow, because technology is changing. Are we going to reach a point where I do not have at any one point to hold paper cash? Yeah, um, I will say we're already at that point mm. where you will not need to hold cash money mm. um, with the technology, with uh, uh, um, banks uh, fostering the digital payments and ensuring that once one opens an, a bank account, they're able to get uh, a, a card payment, uh, a Visa or MasterCard uh, to make payments, then we are, I will say we're already in that space where it is important for an individual to walk and f be secured by carrying mm. digital uh, money, either a card. Um, once you open, a, uh, once you get a SIM card, you have the option of having the mobile money wallet, mm. which is also a safer way of uh, doing transactions. 
Okay. How reachable is this away from uh, already available uh, platforms, including mobile money? Pardon? How there are people out there who might want to understand your foothold as pay support. But if I'm to choose pay support and not take on what is very elementary, like uh, mobile money, mm. what should be my consideration first? Or what is your offer? So maybe <laughs> I'll just take you through um, yeah. wh how we do it. Mm. Um, so as, as I mentioned, we are registered by the Bank of Uganda okay. uh, to, co to, uh, to collect payments in Uganda. So basically, we've partnered with Visa, MasterCard, and Mobile Money in Uganda, that is Airtel and MTN. Mm -hmm. So we act um, as a provider for these uh, services. When you, when you have a business, you necessarily don't need to go to a bank or uh, the telcos to get the services. Mm -hmm. Us as Pesapal are able to give you one solution. So you're able to collect both uh, a card and mobile money. Mm. So if uh, a customer walks in in your business, you already have the variety options of the digital payments. Okay. And apart from the on-site, we have online solutions. Online solution is you can sit comfortably at your home, uh, log into our website and purchase a fridge or TV using the e-commerce. Mm. So we have the payment plugins where we uh, connect to the website, different uh, e-commerce website, and they're able to complete the payment. You want to go on a safari. Mm. Um, you don't have to randomly drive to Foot Portal to check where am I going. You can log in online, look at the two operators, what mm. are they offering. We've given two operators a booking engine. They're able to register all the services that they have. They're able to put the packages. You're able to select by using the pictures and complete uh, with a payment uh, option. Okay. Uh, yes. So what I hear is that you are a convergency platform. Yes. Interesting. There. A gateway. And a DFC, gateway. A gateway. Of sorts, and yes. DFC, you no doubt. I'm not surprised that you are on board. Looking at uh, availing more products that uh, your co consumers in the banking sector uh, do enjoy right now, uh, what is the new offer that could use this particular advantage away from the basic aspect of being a convergency platform? Okay, so at DFCU, we have invested greatly in mm. digital payments, and this journey started, as I said, almost 10 years ab ago. So we yeah. have had a number of um, solutions that we have brought out. Yeah. Um, the recent ones that I think we can actually talk about are the digital account opening. Yeah. At the moment, you can sit here and open up an account with DFCU without mm. necessarily walking into the branch. That's right. You can get a mobile loan instant. So if you are an yeah. account holder of ours, my <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, that was going to do that. <laughs> if you're an account holder with us yeah. and you have our mobile app, mm. you're able to um, log on and you'll see how much you qualify for, and that's instant. Mm. So what we have done is that we have decided to actually move the journey the whole yard for in the digital space. Mm. So we provide the traditional digital solutions that have been on the market for quite some time, mm. but we're also bringing on new. I don't know if you've heard about agency banking as well, where we are bringing the bank just next to your door, mm. step just in, in the next uh, kafunda next to your home, <laughs> you're able to walk in and get um, <laughs> banking services. <laughs> yes, okay. <laughs> interesting. There, yes. uh, Maureen Njoroge, we are an encountering transformation in financial services and fintechs at the forefront of this, but there's also the whole new dimension of AI, and people are trying to understand the threats that will come with that. It's closely related to the safeguards I asked earlier, but when it comes to all these other available aspects, including uh, Bitcoin and uh, everything like that. I do not know whether you're actually into it, but if you're, no, not, you're not, you're not there. Yes. All right. I always love to ensure that we get as much information <laughs> as possible. But since you're not in that particular realm, let's keep it to exactly where we are in terms of uh, digital payments in uh, the country. Now, but is government... Just to answer your question uh -huh. on that, we've seen countries like Nigeria, Okay. They're already exploring the digital um, payments, for the CBDC for the government. Mm. So we have seen countries, markets in Africa, where we are actually starting to walk the journey. Oh, and you yeah. know what happens in the digital payments, what is in one person's docket at mm. one point, is gradually going to move into yours. So without a doubt, uh, the digital currencies 
are, um, it's just a matter of time before yeah. they actually get into Uganda. Okay. So we need to actually get to know about it, um, brace ourselves, and be open-minded about them. Mm. Yes. Now, the clientele, many who will be using these particular uh, services, deal with the government. And uh, the supply chain with the government is a bit clogged and the bureaucracy is uh, perfectly understandable. Government can take its time to pay and stuff like that. I don't know whether government is on board or, I don't know how this question must come through, but when it comes to the, the service itself and the people who are going to benefit, they are dealing with government and government's uh, digital footprint might be not as quick to respond to the thinking of business, you know, the suppliers or other people waiting for payments have to wait a long time, and these services are meant to ensure that things are quick. I don't know whether that question is for you or her. <laughs> we'll but take, anyone, we will anyone take time. You must be having perspective <laughs> yes. on it. Yeah, you understand my frustration and any other person's frustration yes. out there. You're trying to simplify things, but then when you reach a point, you have this supplier yes. or this client who works in their own way, yes. and that is government. <laughs> yes. Oh. So that's correct. Mm. Um, indeed, um, the central bank has been moving a little bit slow uh, mm. with the government at this, but the 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 journey is actually um, on the right path. Okay. I'll tell you one thing for a fact. For example, as bankers, we have a Uganda Bankers Association that actually um, mm. manages or looks after most of the banks. Okay. And one of the key agendas that they have as uh, the UBA is the digital agenda. So all the issues that you have actually raised, things mm. like uh, delay in processing of funds, or transferring of funds, all that is on their roadmap to get some of these things out of the way yeah. so that we can have real-time or next to real-time payments when it comes to uh, serving our customers. Um, then on her side as well, there is also an umbrella body that looks after the fintechs. That's so the FITSPA. Yes, uh, that's FITSPA. Mm. So there is a journey and the good thing is that we have all the players coming together in this mm. digital payment um, journey. We have no big competitors. People keep on asking whether telcos mm. are our competitors. Mm. We, they are not our competitors. Yeah, no. We yeah, actually have there to come. There is that nervousness. <laughs> <laughs> that is so true. But we need to come yeah. together and have partnerships like what mm. we have done with PESAPA That's so that right. we can able to serve our customers in the best uh, of our abilities. Mm -hmm. Yes. Your perspective? Has she completely I would echo that. All right. Now, let me just uh, end this interview with you. The challenges in embracing digital payments. The realities are there. Have you attended to the people at the bottom, the grassroots? My friend uh, Andrew Chamagero leads a whole pack of people mm. about our one c in Uganda. Those are the guys at the grassroots level. Mm. Have you attended to them? I would say yes. Mm. Um, we've diversified our options in Uganda. Mm -hmm. We have over 50,000 merchants that are businesses in Uganda. Okay. We have no categories. We reach anybody who has a registered business. So long as you mm. have a registered business, we mm. are able to reach and give you the services. Okay. And um, I will say the National uh, Payment uh, System Act mm. has really helped in Uganda. Mm. It, um, it seeks to ensure that uh, the e-payments are, are safe for yeah. Ugandans. Mm. And with this, it has created a lot of confidence in us as the users, the end users who, are, who has a card, mm. who has a mobile money. It mm. has created so much confidence. This has also helped reduce the fraud cases that we have. Mm. And at the same time, it has boosted uh, the, the, the dispute resolution between banks, fintechs, and mm. even the uh, mobile money operators. That's right. So I'll say yes. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Maureen Njoroge, country manager for PaysaPol, and uh, many thanks to you too, Farida Navega, card and money transfer manager at DFC Bank. We are emboldened by the information that you've shared, and of course, I'm going to embrace digital payments. Thank you. That will do it for our business update. Stay with us. Take notice up next. I'll be right